All right, so I'm going to show you how the SOBEL operator works in image processing. What we have here in front of me is a big matrix filled with just zeros and ones. This is a binary representation of an image. There's no colors, it's just black and white. So what our goal today is, is to find all of the edges on this image. And the image looks like this, if you can't see the zeros and ones very nicely. It's just a box right here, and this is the box, and two lines. And the two lines are right here. And so our goal is to pass through that image and extract the edges from it into a new image. And so I'm just going to make that new image right now. It's going to be a box right here. And we're actually going to need two images, so I'll draw the second one right there. And I'll do those in red. So what we're going to be doing with the Sobel operator is mark the changes where the image goes from a low contrast to a high contrast. And we're going to expect that those changes mean edges in the image. So that's where the assumption is. It's a pretty safe assumption to make in a binary image because the only things that can change are the colors uh, between 0 and 1. And that's a pretty absolute method of uh, differentiating the colors in your images. And so it'll be safe for us to use that differentiation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to map the equation, uh, the change in contrast is equal to a change in state. And so we're going to go through our image horizontally and then vertically to mark the changes in contrast. And then on a new image, we're going to mark those as a change of state, i.e. we're going to turn any zero into a one on the new image. So here I go. Start there. Go zero. Nothing has changed yet. The whole, all, everything's zero. When I go to the next one, I can see that there's a change coming. Well, we got a one here, and the rest are zeros. So I'm going to mark that with red. to say that we've seen a change there. No changes. Notice that it's still a 1 there. OK, now things get tricky. Right here it still hasn't changed, so we're not going to mark it. But right here, we see a lot of new ones showing up. So we need to mark all of these new boxes. So that's what I'm doing right now. OK, so I've marked all of those boxes. Keep in mind, I don't need to mark this one. Nothing's changed. Oh, now we see something's changed. We're going from a 1 to a 0, so we're going to mark that. We'll keep going. Oh, here we have another change. OK, so here's the last set of changes here, or the second to last set. We need to mark all of these ones red, because they've changed from a 1 to a 0. You need to see that right there. And we'll keep scanning. So now we're getting to the last one here, and we're going to have to mark another edge. We're going to do that right here. And so that's the horizontal scan of our image. And so if I were to take this image and map it here, I'll get this. One vertical line, another vertical line, and two points. And that's the first part of our problem. We've detected the horizontal edges of our picture. Now I'm going to do it the vertical way. So I'll start scanning from here. Notice we're starting in all zeros. And then we're going to see the changes come up right away, that we go from 0 to 1. And we get to mark this pixel again, and this pixel. And we have a new edge right there. We'll scan down. You can kind of see the uh, outline of, of edges coming up. Oh, now we've changed again. You'll see that we're going from all ones to all zeros. So we're going to map that out right here. And you can kind of see now that we actually have the box outline from our original image. We'll keep going. And there's where the magic happens. You see right here there was only four dots. Well, now that we're approaching it from a vertical standpoint, we can see that there's a big change coming here. And when we mark these in all red, 
we'll see that we actually get a full two lines out. And then we're done. Actually, we get a double thick line here because if we, we, we saw a change going from this line to this line, and then we need to mark the change again because we're turning from all ones to all zeros. So that's actually going to be a double thick line. And so we're going to take that vertical image that we have and we're going to draw it onto the next picture. This is going to look like this. And the final step is to take both of these images and put them together. And if we put them together right, we should get an edge map out. So if I have these two vertical lines, and these four dots, okay, and then we're going to have this, these two thick lines. and these two horizontal lines. And if you compare the top picture to this picture, we have an edge map. That's how the Sobel operator works.